Okay, today we're going to look into fixing some forks that are stuck. If you look, if you try to compress, try to put some weight on it and compre compress this. These things don't move, they're not, but they're not budging. The first thing I check when this happens is I just loosen this wheel, loosen this wheel up, loosen this nut up all the way and make sure that these aren't pinching the forks or pinching the forks and they're binding. So if you loosen this up just so these, this is free, so you know it's not squeezing the forks together and then it still won't move, then you have a real problem. If you don't have the right spacing or you, you put the put these in incorrectly and it pinches the forks it'll bind it'll bind them but that's not the case on this one I've already looked at it um, so we're gonna take these apart you can see they're supposed to, it's, there's just there's supposed to be a white bushing in here when we take that apart you'll see it this one Take the seal off. You can see there's a white bushing there. So I think what's happened is this bushing is probably broken and is crumbled up and binding in there. Okay. Which is a pain if you don't have, I don't know if you can order that bushing or not. I'll take these forks apart and you'll be able to see how to take them apart and how to service them and how to put them back together as well. This is not threaded on here, it's just, it's tight, so. It's important to remember how to put these, how these were on here with the bushings and the washers. Yeah, see, that's the reason it wouldn't come off. It's because the, these, uh, this is kind of bound. You can see this side popped up immediately and this side's still stuck down so you can see this this work is operating properly this one's not yeah tighten the 18 inch bit holder this is a tool you'll need for um for this job for sure okay it's really hard to find the right bit here so um i did find it you just tr with trial and error so it's an allen that is down down in there and uh Really hard to find the right bit and my is 4.97 millimeters so I think it's probably a five millimeter five millimeter Allen I don't know but uh, hopefully should, that should help with the trial and error okay putting that, uh, that Allen down in there it's so hard to get in there flashlight really helps to quarter inch socket will fit on that adapter nice socket okay apply some down pressure if we can get this unscrewed here oh it's really easy Now, this is still not coming out. I assume that that's because it's bound. Okay, I already did this. I just took a bunch of regular WD-40 and sprayed it all in here. But I, uh, I've already done it. Then I'm going to take... I'm taking this... Uh, so get this thing to pop off. Okay, so I finally hammered this out and it and I was able to get this get this out. Okay. Seal. Okay, here. And that's that bolt that screws in. This is what we unscrewed. It looks like it has some blue Loctite on it, so we'll replace that when we put it back.
you, know, you can see, I don't know if you can see in here, this plastic piece is just jammed down in there. So, if I take a chisel and just try to chisel that out, it's uh, all broken up and stuff. So, I just try to chisel that out. Actually, when I'm chiseling it, it is sliding okay. So. Okay, I uh, finally figured out <laughs> using a coat hanger. Just a little hook and a handle. Able to get in and, uh, and pull these things out. Basically, okay. So, here's the parts that I pulled out. One of this things looks like it's pretty messed up. This is all broken here. Okay, so I was able to get those parts out. Let's see what else I can get out of here. Okay, spring. Okay, this does have, ooh, it's not the same on both ends. I'm gonna pull this out too. It's a rubber piece. here okay I don't know if you can see in there and then that's that that so that screws screws into that so those all those pieces so I'll put it back together just so you can see what it looks like outside of the the tube okay here's a good look at these springs and how they're put how they're put together here okay so um, there's a screw. First, there's a screw. That, this is what your that long thing when you go in. This attaches into the the end. Okay. You have this bushing that's supposed to stay in the end. Obviously, this one's broken off. So what's happening is it's getting pushed up into the. Uh, pushed up into into this and then and then it binds so it needs to stay in place and then it'll slide fine okay got the seal obviously I think the seals are more important than we think um, I think these should probably be held in place by a, a, a uh, zip tie I think that's a good good modification okay um, so that then you have this piece see how dirty this crap is I mean this probably big, the biggest problem is stuff just got dirty this has two different directions this piece goes over the end to this cap okay then this spring tiny spring spring goes on here. This spring does have two different, it's more uh, closer on one end than the other. There's probably a right way and a wrong way to put it in here, but I'm not, I'm not sure it matters that much. And then there's this piece and then this screws into the shaft. So that's basically what's inside there. Now this is what's malfunctioning so I either got to find a way to put that keep that in place or replace it and I don't think they make replacement parts for this you can see this is even like sort of skewed so see what we can do okay hopefully you're able to see this um, the what I decided to do I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna actually keep this old one just because I cannot get this bushing out of a, I have a good bushing that's in a fork. I just cannot get it out. Once these things are in properly and they're not broken, you can't you can't get them out. 
So I took a, um, took a just a tiny bit, tiny tiny drill bit, and I drilled a hole in the side of this. Here. Drilled a hole right below this bubble here, and then I just drilled a hole through that, through that, which I'll show you. I'm just going to run a wire through there, and uh, went through the top of that, the top of that, so it'll stay away from sliding. And I'll just use that to hold this in place, um, and I think that should should hold that piece in place. And then, so and then obviously I'll twi twist it off. Um, and then, uh, so I'm going to lube, lube, clean everything really well, lube it up. Uh, and put it back together with that in place and hopefully that holds at least for a while. Okay, here we just uh, use some, I just use some contact cleaner and a toothbrush to, to clean all these parts, just make sure they're, they're all nice and clean. And then I just took some just regular multi-purpose grease, put a light coat of grease on all these parts. Okay, just clean that tube out. Again, just using this contact cleaner. Take a toothbrush. Scoot it in there as far as you can. Best you can. Uh, I just noticed one thing. There's a slight groove on the inside. I'm sure that's made for that. So it, the orientation of this matters, which I didn't think it would. Yeah, because that groove comes up into here too. Yeah, that orientation matters. So I'll uh, I'll redrill this hole that I put down here. Redrill that hole to align with the the hole I hole I put in here, and then we'll we'll move that wire to hold it. I'm just gonna throw a little grease in here. Not a ton, but. Just I'm going to start to put these pieces back in and there is an orientation these you can see these have a little notch so Ugh. two really key things you need is a flashlight and a coat hanger so I'll move it a little so it has the correct orientation just get that notch Get it to align with that notch. Let's see, can you see that? It's pretty hard to see. Get the light in that that piece is now. It's down in there. Yeah, I just want to show this little piece. See this um, this wire? It's going through here. Just I ran it through this end first. Just ran it up, and then uh, and then I'll push this plastic piece in, and then this plastic piece has to go in. So I'm just tapping it. And that's in properly. This has good movement here. Still nice and loose, there's lots of play here. Get these wires kind of out of the way. I think 
that's going to hold that in place pretty well. Put these boots on. These boots are really horrible. I mean, they, they don't stay in place. That's the, part, that's the issue. And then they allow dirt up in here. If I had more time, which I don't, I'd take this other side apart too and just lube it up, clean it and everything. I think probably, you know, this fork's going to compress. And I think if you just kind of feed some, some grease here, probably a good thing. I think it, these seals are more important than I thought. You know, these, uh, really got to keep the dirt out of here because if that binds up and it pushes that piece up there, we'll put a little crease inside this work seal here, It'll probably carry, carry some of that grease up there. Okay. Oh, that's slippery. Okay. And then clean the rest of this off. We don't want excess grease. Okay, I did a little mod here. These, these, uh, Things keep popping off. I just put a zip tie here on these. Um, seems to be holding better. Okay, just gonna put a little grease on this axle. Okay, it, I'm done here. Uh, you want to test it out, Joshua? Just try the try the shock. Is it working now? Yep. Working out, okay. So basically, you know, that bla that plastic piece was binding up here. Um, it just needs, you know, these really need to be greased every once in a while. A um, couple things, I did make, um, put this uh, on uh, zip tie on the seals, fork seals, just to hold them. Those things always pop down, drop down. I think from now on, I'll uh, keep, those, keep those on there. Uh, took everything out, lubed it, greased it. It's actually this side that we, we worked on, but lubed it, greased it. Showed how to um, take it, take everything apart. You do not need to take off the handlebars. You do not need to take off these bolts to work on the forks. Um, and looks like it's working now. You want to take it for a test spin? Sure. Ready? Okay. Make sure you test out the shocks. shocks but yeah. at least they're not binding up now okay cool